Hi everybody, welcome to today. So I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog today because we're prepping to get ready to go. Obviously we're packing all the suitcases right now and I'm trying to figure out what I even wanna wear at the shows. We're going to Memphis on Saturday, April 1st and my Nashville show is April 2nd on Sunday and I'm very excited to go to Tennessee and perform but I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I haven't packed yet. There's so much left to do but I wanna hang out with my kids before I leave so I'm gonna put all of my packing and all my prepping on hold and stress about that after they fall asleep. Right now I'm just gonna go hang out with them. So I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog today. Um, this might be a combo vlog with tomorrow. I have no idea. We'll see what happens, but I want to find my kids. I wonder where they are. Hard in the mess. Um, people always come to like, I love how real you are, that you always show how disgusting your house is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, my house is dirty. I have three kids. What do you want me to do? So last night, Eric and I went on a date and he gave me a present. Actually, he didn't give me the present on the date though, right? He forgot it. He like literally sat down and it felt like I was going to get proposed oh, to. Mwah. Felt like I was going to get proposed to because we sat down at dinner table and he starts feeling in his pockets and he's like, oh no, I forgot something. And I was like, are you proposing? Um, but he got me a necklace. When did you see my necklace? Oh, no. A bee. It's a bee. So the name of the necklace, Flynn, be brave. If you've been watching me a long time, you know that Flynn used to say to me, be brave, mommy, be brave. And I wanted it tattooed on my body because of how sweet it was. Yeah. And I've thought of his voice mommy, saying that so many times. Can I see the tattoo? I didn't get it yet. Oh. Not yet. Should she get it? No, you don't want me to get a tattoo? Do you want me to get it? Hi. Anyway, it's a bee and all the kids love bugs and bees and butterflies. He gave me a dragonfly necklace that the babies loved once so much. And so then he loved that it was like an insect because all the babies loved that. And that it was a bee and it was similar to the other one he got me. And it was called Be Brave, which is the phrase, if I ever got a tattoo, that's the only time I've ever been like, I might get a tattoo because I wanted it tattooed on me, him saying Be Brave. And the other thing is that there's a pearl in it. Body of the bee is a pearl and Maisie means pearl. How cool is that? Isn't this the coolest thing? Oh, it looks pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, it's super cool. So that was very sweet. Anyway, we're just hanging out as family. We might go do something fun. We might not. Who knows? But I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm boomed. You gonna feed them? You giving them a snack? Mm. Did you guys like it? How'd it taste? Wesley's feeding the floor his snacks <laughs> behind me. Ooh, snack time for the floor. Hey, We decided to come have some family time at the harbor and maybe a picnic or something, I don't know. Daddy, maybe we have to go downstairs and we can sleep in. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's real. Really? Yeah. Some boats do have beds because they're really big like ships. That's true. You wanna sleep in one? No, I wanna go in one. But you don't wanna sleep in it? No. <laughs> 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 Flynn picked out the spot we're gonna sit at <laughs> and he picked by the construction site, obviously. What's going on over here? What do you got? You got the sand? <laughs> Yucky, no, no. Yucky, no, 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 no. No, yucky, yucky. Yucky, yeah, yucky. Trying to keep two babies from eating sand at the same time, it's not an easy task. We're eating fries on the beach. We got burgers and nuggets and fish and a bunch of stuff. The babies are only interested in eating sandy french fries. Huh, Maisie? Sandy french fry on the beach? <laughs> Yummy. Maisie just learned where the moon is. Maisie, where's the moon? <laughs> you find it, you find the moon! You find the moon! Where's the moon? <laughs> you find the moon? Where's the moon? Where is it? It is getting cold, so I think we're leaving. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Okay, we gotta go. My goodness, look at that. Flynn, are you kidding me? Oh my Whoa. gosh, Flynn, look. Maybe he'll whip He's saying hi. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's awesome. That was so cool. Is he on this side again? Flynn, don't forget about that bird. He's gonna fly away. Cool. Do you think that's a puffin? I don't think it's a puffin. I think it was like a blue heron. I think. 
I don't know what that was, buddy. A magical little surprise on our family outing. That was so special. Seeing a cool sea lion. That was very neat, oh, mosquito. Alrighty, kids. It's time for me to finish packing. It's 11 p.m. I've been packing this whole time, but um, now I'm down doing the show stuff because I have to like take all my shoes and dresses out and put in the shoes and dresses and whatever I'm gonna wear this time. And I haven't decided because I really like the flippity flappity dress, but I don't know if it's good for a quick change. So I know I'm gonna wear this one because this was everyone's favorite in the original video that I had posted. And everyone says to do it with white boots. So I'm doing that. But guys, I can't resist making things glittery. So I'm considering mod podging these with glitter, like rhinestoning them a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? This is the dress that everyone loves on TikTok that I love too. This one was very divided. A lot of people said the white tall boots. A lot of people said the pink tall boots with that one. And a lot of people said the short purple. And actually Eric said he liked the short purple the best. I just don't know. And also this one's really heavy. This is definitely over 10 pounds. It's extremely heavy. So to do an entire show wearing this underneath my Murad outfit sounds really scary. I might save it and wear it to like the Taylor Swift concert. I don't know what show I'm gonna go to, but I really wanna go to Taylor Swift concert. So I might save it for that. Because you guys know I've been wanting to wear these. I feel like I have to wear these with shorts. So I could wear these shorts. I could do it with onesie type of one thingy with these boots, which is kind of funky. I could do it with this pink corset top or this purple corset top. I'm not quite sure which one would look best. That's funky. I feel like that matches way better. Okay, let me try this on. I don't like this. Okay, well, you can't even see my shoes. Hold on. It's like a weird. Like the top fits weird. I love the shorts, of course. How fun is that? And I love these shoes, but I don't know. All together. It's just kind of bizarre. I think I hate it. Let me try on a corset top. Okay, I like this one much better. I feel like you can't really tell on camera, but this one's better. The only problem is that like, I wish it went down into my shorts. It kind of like comes up a little bit. I feel like the whole time I'm on stage, I'm gonna be going like this, like insecure about like a midriff popping out. But this is very fun. What do we think? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Wait, it's the next morning. Got a couple hours of sleep. Let's go to Tennessee. And we're off to Tennessee. We had a lovely flight, but we had a connection in Denver, Colorado, and our flight was delayed. So then we had to run like a thousand miles to get to our second flight, which was also delayed. And then we boarded the plane and look at the beautiful view out my window. Oh. Um, anyway, then they made us get off the plane. I guess our airplane had a flat tire, so they made us get on a different airplane. And then we left for Memphis. It was a lovely flight, except for the fact that we had to fly through some storms. You'll see some lightning there, um, kind of crazy, and um, it was pretty intense. But we finally made it to Memphis very late at night after a long day of travel. That was quite the travel day, guys. I am exhausted. Um, a lot happened, but I'm finally at my hotel. It's weird. I just walked in my room. I haven't even gone all the way in because I'm very confused. Just walked in the door. This is what I see. This is my hotel room. What? It looks like a garage door. I am so confused. What is this? This is so bizarre, but so cool. How strange and lovely. Wow, very interesting. <gasps> ah, a cookie, they love me, and lips. Oh my God, wait, what? Oh my God, how cute. This is not a sponsorship, not an ad. I paid for this room, y'all, but like, hello, cute. They're giving me a little welcome now. That's adorbs. Okay, I'm gonna settle in for a minute. What is this place? Oh my God. I've never seen a hotel room like this before. <gasps> look at the shower. Oh my God, what the heck? And look, a woman with her face blurred out and blood. Blood. This is, Eric would lose his mind at this hotel room. This is so Eric, it's so hipster. Okay, I'm going to settle in. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. Hello. Hello, welcome to my throne. I don't know, this is the coolest, funnest room ever. So, I'm in Tennessee, I'm in Memphis. I love this state, I, there's a lot of, I have so many wonderful memories in the state. Some of my favorite places in the world are here. I love Nashville, I love Memphis, I love Knoxville, I love Pigeon Forge, Dollywood. Oh my God, there's so much fun to be had here. It's such a cool state. I have so many wonderful memories here and I just, I love it here. But it feels weird coming here and not like mentioning all of the, things that have been happening here in this state. Obviously, I already talked about the other day and we all know about um, the devastating, awful, awful, awful thing that happened earlier this week. Every single school shooting is absolutely heartbreaking, gut-wrenching, and so awful. But I feel like every time there's another one, like it gets darker and heavier and more upsetting because I just want someone to do something to help protect these kids and so, I've just, I've had so many moments where I've just burst into tears thinking about those kids, thinking about their parents, thinking about the teachers, thinking about all the kids now who are terrified to go to school. So devastating. My heart just feels heavy. And not only that, but 
the recent laws that have come about here prior to all of that happening were also really sad to find out about and to hear about. Okay, bad timing, but my food just got delivered right in the middle of me talking about all that. I'm gonna make this quick and hopefully we can talk about this another time when it's not the middle of the night and I have more time because it's a big topic that I don't wanna just brush past, but I do feel like I should say something because I'm here in Tennessee. Recently, um, the state of Tennessee passed a law that bans drag shows, drag queens, and that's at least how people are talking about it. But what's scary is if you, like, you actually read the bill, it doesn't say ban it's banning drag shows or drag queens or whatever. It says like that you can't impersonate a man or a woman or something, like the wording of it is really loose and that's scary. I just feel like the law is very dangerous to the LGBTQ plus community. There's a lot of laws and bills that are being passed in our country recently that are banning books. They're trying to pass a law that will prevent kids from learning about periods and prevent girls from knowing what's happening in their own body. And there are laws and bills that are racist. There are laws and bills that are going to hurt women, hurt trans people. Just so many people are gonna be hurt by so many things that are getting passed right now. And it's really sad and confusing to me. And I'm not sitting here talking about this to like have a big political discussion with you guys. You guys know it's not how I am. That's not what I'm trying to do. It's not what I'm trying to be. But my vlog channel is just me vlogging my daily life and sharing with you my journey as a human being and this is something that's happening in our country and is more than anything else to me it's confusing like I'm just confused by it. I'm like why why would they do that why would this happen why are they doing this why are they doing that why aren't they doing this why aren't they like I'm just sad and confused by it and I just wanted to say like hey like I'm here in Tennessee and I love you guys and I feel helpless and I feel like useless but I just want people to know that like the LGBTQ community, I love you, I support you. The drag community, I love you, I support you. Women, I love and support you. People of every minority, I love you, I support you. Kids, I love you, I support you. You should not have to be scared to go to school. That is not fair. Teachers, I love and support you. I thank you for all that you do and I'm so sorry that you have to deal with this. I'm not bringing this up to cause any ruffling feathers or talk about anything crazy. I just felt like I should say something and I don't know what to say so I'm. this is just me talking and letting you guys know that I'm like sad and confused by a lot of the decisions that our government is making right now and yeah I'm here in Tennessee I'm excited to be here I'm excited to perform and see you guys and talk to you and laugh with you and perform for you and don't know how to even talk about this I'm just talking but I'm excited to be here in Tennessee and I really do love this place and I'm I uh, just want everyone to feel loved and accepted and happy and okay and safe and um, I'm just confused when I see like a lot of things happening in our government that aren't doing those things. It feels like very the opposite. But I love you guys and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. And I, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.